Morning. There are community meetings today and tomorrow to discuss the massive effort to clean up a contaminated Jacksonville industrial site this spring. The Kerr-McGee Jacksonville Superfund site on Talleyrand Avenue has been on the EPA's priority list for cleanup since 2010. News for Jackson reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live this morning. Aaron, that site was known for producing and packing fertilizer and pesticides. And that kind of work there was done for 85 years, but it ultimately left the soil and the groundwater there contaminated. So there is a plan in place right now to clean all of that up at some point starting in the spring and to discuss and to give an idea of what that's going to look like. There are four different community meetings that are going to be happening today and tomorrow. The first two sessions will be today, starting this afternoon. Those will be virtual meetings, so that's important to note. The first one will be from 12.30 to 1.30 this afternoon, and then another one tonight from 5.30 to 6.30. We will be posting the Zoom link and the phone number you could call if you want to dial into that on our website at news4jacks.com. The other sessions will be tomorrow in person at Silky's Chicken and Champagne Bar on Walnut Street. The sessions are scheduled from 12 noon to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and then again from 4.30 in the afternoon until 6.30 tomorrow night. At those meetings, people will be able to hear from cleanup team members about what this process is going to look like and ask any questions that they may have in all of this. You're looking at video from the 31 acre Kerr McGee Jacksonville Superfund site from back in 2017. A Superfund is a United States environmental remediation program that is responsible for cleaning up and addressing contaminated areas that do end up posing threats to humans and to the environment. There were cleanups that happened at that specific site in 2020 and in 2021. At that time, it targeted the soil, groundwater, sediment, and surface water. But the cleanup this year will also include air quality monitoring and dust and odor control. That new phase for the cleanup is expected to take at least two years to complete. I'm, re I'm reporting live, Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.